Yo, so how's it going guys? It's your boy Laser Gaming. Welcome back to another GTA 5 video. So last month I uploaded a top 10 GTA 5 glitches and tricks video, which you guys showed a ton of support on. So I thought I'd go ahead and repay the favor by putting together another top 10 best GTA 5 glitches and tricks video, seeing as you guys really liked the first one. And as always, there will be a wide variation of glitches included in this video, from wall breaches, launch glitches, clothing glitches, character glitches, or just general fun glitches like making your car fly. So as always, if you guys do support this channel and you do want to see me post more videos like this in the future do be sure to show support for like down below also feel free to subscribe as i do post daily gta 5 videos without further ado let's get into the video okay so the first glitch i'm going to show you is an extremely funny glitch to do and that's basically a bmx glitch that'll allow you to ride your bike on your sideways so it looks like you're literally riding your bike along at some impossible angles okay so all you guys want to do is head over to the los santos storm drain this is this little area most of you guys will know where this is it's like a little mini river like a sewage system running through the entire map it'll make more sense once you guys see me arrive at the location however you want to head to about this location doesn't really matter whereabouts as long as you're on the drain you'll be able to do this glitch pretty easy okay so once you guys arrive at the storm drain with your bike it can work with any bike you simply want to drive off the wall and land on your side like i do here bang and as you guys can see your character literally glitches out and starts riding his bike at some impossible angles you can keep going for as much time as you want it might take like i said one or two attempts but once you guys get the hang of this you'll be able to do it straight away easy one thing i'm going to say watch out for don't try and jump like onto the flat land see you're currently on like a slanted land you can't actually move onto flat land however you don't want to do what i do here and try and do a 360 spin because you are going to fail another tip i'm going to give you guys is don't pedal full force into the slanted floor as you guys can see i do get the glitch going there but then i pedaled full force and then i'm failing again so as long as you guys avoid those two things you'll be able to go as long as possible a very cool and funny glitch now currently working after all the latest patches on all consoles However, moving on to the next glitch, and this is actually a cool little wall bridge glitch that's located at a very famous location, probably the most popular location within GTA 5. I'm pretty sure you guys have been here once or twice before while playing online, and that is the Los Santos Pier. So to do this wall bridge, all you guys want to do is get a car of a decent size. It doesn't have to be as big as this Sand King you can see me using right now. You can get this like a normal van or anything. Drive to the car park, literally on the right side of the pier. Park it up as you can see me doing against the wall. Get on top of the car and simply jump on top of these little air vents and then bang as you boys can see straight into the wall breach now like i said the pier is a pretty popular location it's a good location to troll friends or if you guys have got to try and get away from the cops quickly especially with the latest dlc coming out i've noticed a load of people seem to park their yachts up against near the pier area so if they see you hanging around this area they might try and get you and get a bit baffled you'll be like where the fuck is this guy it's underneath the ground so like i said just a bunch of potential to have fun with unfortunately i couldn't find any area which you can actually shoot out of however you also cannot be shot whilst in this wall breach so it is a god mode wall breach like i said it's not the best however nonetheless it still is good to know and a good little spot to chill out on if you guys are looking to troll friends okay now for the further glitch i'm going to show you guys in this video this is a funny animation freeze glitch that'll basically allow your character to hold any freeze within the game it does look extremely funny and works with every animation in the game so it gives you guys tons of potential to pull out some funny poses to troll your friends with or even take some cool snapmatic photos okay so the first thing you guys need to do this glitch is a convertible car that's all you're going to need to do this glitch once you've got a topless car you basically want to hold select so you pull off the interaction menu go down to the action section and then as soon as you get in the car spam down the action so you at least do it twice and then as soon as you're doing that exit the vehicle and continue to spam it down so you basically want to trick the game into thinking you're doing the action pose whilst exiting the vehicle now this glitch can be a bit tedious it might take a few goes getting used to it but once you guys get the hang of it you'll be able to do it easy no problem i am going to replay this video again in normal time just so you guys can see the actual time and how i've done it in real life time okay so as you guys can see i have the interaction menu up i jump straight in the car spamming down the action menu and as soon as my character's mid animation i jump 
jump out of the car and start spamming it again. Now, as you can see, he starts to do the animation and then just pauses in the most random spot. This one here is pretty funny. I like this one because it looks like he's doing like a little uh, puppy dog pose or some shit. So if you guys are like big on the GTA photography scene and you like taking snap max photos, this is an extremely good glitch for you guys as this works with all the animation. So it gives you guys potential to pull up some funny poses and just to make your characters look like they're doing stuff that you can't usually do within GTA 5. Another great thing about this glitch is, as you can see, your character holds the pose as he gets into cars or he, he interacts with anything within the game as you walk into your apartment. So literally you guys have the potential to get some extremely funny pictures while doing this glitch. I have a feeling it's going to get patched soon so I'll definitely make the most of it while you can. But yeah, I want to show you guys again that it does work with different actions or different poses should I say. As you can see this time I'm using a different car to simply get in and do the same trick again. Spam down the action as I'm getting out. This one's pretty good because it looks like he might be going to like a drug deal. He's got something in his hand or even for a fighting picture. I mean you seriously have endless potentials to use these actions for different pictures and videos. Hurricane launch flying car glitch as you boys can see on screen you're able to launch your car into the air and control it at the same time. This glitch is extremely fun to do with friends this glitch all you guys will need is one other friend and a canis and body car once you guys have got that you want to get your friend to stand in the seating area of the car so as you guys can see on screen now just in between the passengers and the driver's seat and you want to shoot him in the head so his body crumbles in that little area in the front of the car once his body crumbled you guys want to jump straight in the car slam down acceleration and then as you guys can see on screen now your car just pulls off some mad whirlwind flying launch effect you guys can actually control the car. I was controlling it here. So you, when you move left or right, you can move it left and right. Also, the acceleration affects it a lot. However, the best part of this glitch for me is the whole random factor to it. Every time you guys do this glitch, you'll get a different result every time. Sometimes your car will go in a big whirlwind effect. Sometimes it will go straight, do backflip. It is literally just an extremely fun glitch to do on GTA Online with friends. I would probably suggest trying to get a bunch of other friends to stand in the back or sit in the back so like a bunch of you guys can get launch at the same time i will say as far as i'm aware it only works with this car right here the canis body and it does work on any surface as you guys can see now we are on a normal road however i would suggest maybe doing it at a bit more open space like at the golf course or at the airport because as you guys can see you will eventually like crash into buildings if you guys get an epic launch also try not to hold down acceleration too quick too fast because as you guys can see sometimes your car will just do an instant backflip so you kind of get used to it the more you do it you kind of want to just pace out the acceleration by slightly tapping it as I do here however you do want to make sure that there is no trees in the way that's gonna fuck up the glitch <laughs> as you guys can see so make sure you got the car in a good position once you've got it in a good little location I'm pretty sure you and your friends will have a bunch of fun doing this glitch Damn, can you boys see the paint job on this Centorno? By the way, if you guys want to get this paint job, I will leave a link to it down below in the description. One of the best paint jobs. However, as I was saying, this trick is pretty handy if you guys do spend a lot of time in free mode. Or you want to just troll your friend. So if you guys actually make your way to this parking bay, don't worry, I will show you guys on the GPS where it is located in just a second. You guys will notice that one of these parking lots is actually a secret god mode area. So as you boys can see on screen now, exactly where I'm shooting, there seems to be like an invisible barrier which stops you from getting shot so maybe if you guys need to escape from the police or you just want to have some fun with your friends like i said get them to come over here and tell them to try and kill you i guarantee they won't be able to so as you boys can see i'm actually standing in the wall breach there this is why this is a bit crazy because you can literally just walk straight through the barrier it's not like a wall it just purely stops with bullets and everything like that so if you guys do want to go and check out this god mode parking lot you just have to head to this area it's right next to the eclipse tower actually right next to the sentinel excess spawn location However, the next glitch I'm going to show you guys is a funny character slash weapon glitch that will basically allow you guys to make your weapon go flying around in the air as you boys can see on screen now or hold a weapon in your hand while you pull up different action animations. So it's a very fun glitch to do. Okay, so to do this glitch, all you guys are going to need is a helicopter. That's all you need. It's a solo method. Once you guys have got a heli, what you want to do is have your gun in your hand, pull up the interaction menu so you have it out, just jump straight in the helicopter and then jump straight out. Meanwhile, keeping your interaction menu open, as you guys can see on the top left, I'm keeping it open. 
I'm hovering over the action menu. The reason why you want to do this is because as soon as you jump out of the heli, as you boys will see, you want to slam down any action, and that is basically the glitch slash trick done. From now on, you guys, whenever you pull off any action, your character will keep his gun out in his hand. And as you boys can see, they look extremely funny, especially the sexual gestures. I don't know what it is, but there is one gesture, as you boys can see, which is called Freak Out, which will send your gun flying around in a big 360 whirlwind around your body. So like I said, there is lots of different um, actions and different like scenarios that you're going to get for different weapons and different actions, different combinations. Because you boys have to think there is tons of weapons and tons of actions and they all look different with each one. So do be sure to take a few pictures on your Snapmatic and send me them on Twitter. My Twitter page and all that, the links will be down below in the description. So do be sure to go and follow me if you ain't already. You guys are going to be like what the hell is camera a vehicle and you'd be right in thinking so because unless you guys are pretty much motorheads or into cars you won't really know what this means it's basically a car modification that people do in real life it's a wheel mod which basically allows their wheels to lean to a certain angle it can look really sick on some cars in some cars it looks like a complete mess so currently you can't actually do this to any cars within gta 5 however using this secret little trick that i'm going to show you guys you guys will be able to camber a few vehicles make it just a little more extra unique plus it really is good for drifting for you guys that maybe want to put together little mini movies or just enjoy drifting in gta 5 okay so before i get into the method on how you guys actually do this to your car i thought i'd go ahead and show you guys a few real life images just so you can get a better idea of what you're actually doing to your car however this last image is pretty much what we'll be doing it's called a negative cambering where the wheel will be leaning inwards towards the car and the front two will be straight so it's really ideal for drifting plus it's really easy to do this now i did actually find out about this glitch a long time ago a few patches ago however i did just assume that it had been patched so i will actually say this trick does work with a few different cars however i would definitely suggest doing it with this car right here the rat loader if you guys aren't aware i actually uploaded a video a few weeks ago on how you can get a free modified rat loader so do be sure to go and check that video out if you guys don't want to waste money on buying a new rat loader i will leave a link to that video down below in the description however once you guys have got the rat loader you want to take it over to los santos customs apply the lowest suspension to the car and also make sure you guys don't purchase bulletproof tires from the car so once you guys have applied the most expensive suspension so it's as low to the ground as possible and also avoided buying bulletproof tires you guys are now ready to do the glitch so it's very straightforward and basic like i said to you guys so to can be a vehicle you just want to do as i do on screen here pull out any gun preferably an assault rifle aim at the center of the rims and just spray it down until you guys see the car slightly drop like twice so you actually like it's as if you're adding more suspension to the car so simply go ahead and do this to every wheel on the car now once you guys have shot out the middle of the cars so the car has dropped you guys basically want to go behind the car and shoot out the back two tires now this is important why you guys don't want to put bulletproof tires on because as you boys will see once i shoot the tire it doesn't actually pop but it just really lowers the suspension and then cambers the vehicle so bang there you guys go that is basically the trick slash glitch done now just as a heads up you guys don't want to go too fast in this car while it's cambered like I said, it's mainly for aesthetic looks and for drifting. Or if you guys love to take Snapmatic photos. I know a lot of you guys that follow me on Twitter love taking pictures on your Snapmatic. And I do see a lot of these pictures and they look absolutely insane. So do be sure to use this trick if you guys want to get some more unique looking pictures. Or if you guys like to go to car meets. I know car meets are a big thing in GTA 5 definitely pull up in one of these cambered vehicles and you'll have heads turning however coming in for the next trick in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how you can do a little mini launch glitch anywhere in the map this glitch is very simple to do and you guys can have tons of fun it's very random with friends doing it and like i said it doesn't work with any other car so why not make the most of it in case rockstar patch it all you guys have to do is simply stand on the front of the car as you guys can see and then get your friend to open his hood now this glitch is very dependent on different lobbies whoever's the host i've noticed that sometimes Sometimes you guys will launch like 50 meters in the air sometimes it'll only be like 10 meters but if you guys get a big group of like five or six of you standing on the front it will look pretty funny especially if you guys like to take pictures a little snap mic photos you can get like a good picture of you all jumping in the air at the same time just be creative with it if you do decide to use it for pictures as you guys can see the guy
guy in the background ended up going higher than the tree. That's because this was his car. I would also suggest maybe using your own car and maybe try and synchronize it as you guys can see because it's his car. He gets a little extra launch. So a very cool little trick that you guys can just do anywhere in the map and just have a bunch of fun with. However, coming into glitch number nine, and this is just a completely random and trippy glitch that I randomly discovered myself when I was spawning in Sand Kings in a different video. So if you guys actually own this property right here, it's one of the cheapest properties in the game. And you actually walk over to this door in the back of your garage and then you walk straight into the wall and just go into first person. You get this almost trippy, under the map, 3D, transparent view of the map and it just blew my mind and i had no idea what this was about if any of you guys have any idea what this might be about i'm thinking maybe like an apartment extension in a future dlc i just have no idea maybe they meant for that door to lead to somewhere and they took it out last second that is the only thing i could think of Now the good thing about this building right here is it's actually in the hotspot of this map online on free mode. Like I'll put it up right now so you guys can see it. As you boys can see it's bang in the middle round the corner from the famous Eclipse Tower which is the most owned property within GTA 5. It's just in between the pain spray a lot of other apartments so a very good spot to wall breach and troll a load of your mates or avoid the cops do whatever you guys like to do within GTA 5. Okay, so to do this wall breach, it's very simple. You want to head around the back of the building where you'll find this little ladder. Climb up the ladder and there will be another ladder right in front of you. You simply want to climb up there. By doing this, it'll allow you to get on the roof. Now, once you guys get on the roof, you want to take an immediate left and look for the spire part of the building. Now, the spire is this little pyramid section of the building, which you'd usually find like on the roofs on chimneys or on castles. Basically this pillar section here you can see I'm looking at right now. So to get inside of this pillar is actually a god mode wall breach. I wanna mention that so you guys can shoot out of it and people can't kill you while you're inside. So to do this wall breach, all you have to do is make your way over to the pillar, have your gun in your hand while doing so, and then as you jump to get on top of the pillar, you want to slam down LT on the Xbox or L2 on PlayStation. Basically whatever button it is to aim in your weapon, as soon as you're slamming that, you'll notice that your guy just drops straight into the pillar. And as you boys can see, it is an extremely good wall breach. Just because it looks funny, it looks like there's no way someone will be inside of this thing. <laughs> so once again, all you guys got to do is slam down the aim button in repetitively once you jump on top of it. It's extremely easy to get inside of. Plus, once you guys go in first person, as you're about to see, you can get a pretty much a, a sick view of this little strip area leading up to pay and spray. So if you guys want to troll some of your friends, avoid the cops, like I said earlier, do anything you guys want to do. You can shoot out at any angle. It's an extremely good wall breach. One of the best I've probably seen in recent times as the view is pretty sick. You guys can't get shot while you're inside of this wall breach. So it's a god mode wall breach and you can shoot out of it. So it pretty much covers everything you guys might look for in a wall breach. Nonetheless, there we go guys. The top 10 best working glitches and tricks currently working on GTA 5. Hopefully you guys do appreciate me covering a wide variation of glitches. Do be sure to check out some more working glitches down in the description i'll leave a link to the full playlist also do feel free to subscribe so you guys don't miss any future videos and don't forget to drop a like down below if you guys did enjoy this video and you do want to see more big top 10 compilations like this in the future thanks a lot for watching guys and i'll see you in my next video